Greetings everyone today we will learn introduction to HTML. Now, let's delve into the HTML page structure of the previously created web page. HTML root element, this is like the container for your entire web page. Everything inside this tag is part of your HTML document. In the head section, you put meta information about your document, stuff that doesn't appear directly on the page. The title comes next. This is the section where you specify your page's title. It shows up in the tab or title bar of the browser. Currently, the body section contains your web page's primary content. This is the main heading of your page, and it's written in bold, large letters. In your context, it is the cyber square. The paragraph comes next. This is the area for your standard text. Your HTML sums up CyberSquare's mission to equip young people with coding and entrepreneurship skills for the future. To upload a photo, click on the designated icon. Then select your image from the desired location. And finally, click on or open. Now you can see your image here. The image tag comes next, in this case, you are inserting an image with the source attribute that is src set to image.png. Now we can replace the current image with our recently added picture, that is flower.jpg. Save the changes, and click the open a button to preview the output. HTML documents are created using HTML tags. HTML tags are keywords, tag names, surrounded by angle brackets. HTML tags normally come in pairs like sp and p. The first tag in a pair is the start tag, and the second tag is the end tag. The end tag is written like the start tag, but with a forward slash inserted before the tag name. Here, H1 means a big heading. Then the align equals center means I want it in the center. This is a heading the heading should say this is a heading do dot. When you show this to a web browser, it will display a big heading that says this is a heading at the center of the page. Now click open. Here you can see it. Thank you.